Debbie Savage and welcome back to my channel. Today is a video that I have been wanting to do forever and a sweet friend encouraged me. She was interested in my hair care routine, how I style my hair and so I am going to do that today. I just got out of the shower so my hair is about um I'd say 80% dry and um, what was unique with this shower was that I used the L'Oreal Paris Elvave 8 second wonder water treatment for the first time and it was a success. So if you're interested in learning more about that product, see the link above. But let's go ahead and get started. So again, my hair is clean and dry. Um, for my lifestyle, I typically wash my hair once, definitely once. Um, sometimes twice a week if I'm just really sweaty and, and just ugh, feeling just dirty. I go to the gym practically every day um, and so if I don't wash my hair I definitely do a body wash. <laughs> hair is thick, it's long and it's textured and so as you go through this process with me you'll see that you know there's quite a few steps in getting my hair made. For some people it might just seem crazy right but then for others you're just like I get it that's just that's why I don't wash my hair very often and because I only wash my hair once a week I kind of look forward to styling my hair because I take this you know frizz ball mess and turn it to something really beautiful and that I love that's soft and manageable and stylish that I just wear all week I like to make sure my hair is um nourished and I've been using Alterna right here and it's for anti-aging for your hair and it is their infinite color hole dual use serum for radiance and shine for color treated hair and I had my hair colored recently I just I love having my hair dark and so this is the perfect serum that I use in my hair and I just do a few pumps not hitting the roots of course because you don't want to weigh down your roots but I just distribute oh you guys if you could smell this it smells so good it's a really amazing line of hair care products and I just make sure that I get it through sometimes I just use just another little pump but I put it all through my hair by Phyto Fair Paris, Phyto Paris, and it's the Phyto Carotene Extreme. It's an exceptional cream for ultra damaged, brittle, and dry hair. This is what I'm trying to avoid, and I just, for extra protection, and it doesn't really have a smell, and the, the cream is very, very lightweight and so it gets distributed into your hair really really well and I just um, again put this through the ends of my hair hit the tops of my hair sometimes I split my hair in half and I do another just teeny pump to make sure that it gets it all covered. I've been using this for a while now like I don't know the last I want to say two years. It has no sulfate, paraben, mineral oil, all that stuff, phthalates, and it's shea moistures, argan oil, almond milk, smooth, tame blowout cream, and it's the best. And it kind of looks like a little marshmallow puff when you put it on. But this is great because I need my hair protected because I'm going to blow dry my hair smooth. And then I'm gonna go um, with a curling iron to style my hair. So yes, there's gonna be some heat um, from the um, styling appliances. And because I only style my hair about once a week, it's gonna be okay. And it's gonna be better because I'm using a product like this that's gonna go in and protect my hair and um, help my hair get into that smooth state that I love because my hair is frizzy and wavy. And it looks quite wild right now. My hair prepped with the proper products. 
we're going to start sectioning my hair and getting it ready for the blow dry process. This is my favorite brush. It's <laughs> a little bit gnarly looking. I've had it for a long time. It just grabs my hair so well, the length. It's really easy to use. And I use it to section my hair and to brush through my hair. And I don't brush my hair very often once I style my hair. I just leave it alone. I, we are gonna start, or I'm gonna start blow drying my hair. And I can't live without this one. I think this is a goodie. And I like this one because again, I have lots of hair, my hair is heavy, and it can hold my hair while I'm moving. The hair blower that I use, and this is one that I've been using the last few years. It is still going, going on strong. It is um, Porcelain Ceramic by Baby Lip Bliss row and I'll leave a link. I like this hair blower despite you know the little bit of weight that you feel. I'm, I'm used to it but I like it because it's it does the job well. It gets my hair dry and smooth in the least amount of time. And here is my barrel brush that I use to smooth out my hair and it's quite big. Why? Because I have long hair. This really separates, grabs a hold of hair, holds it in place for me and the air is able to go through the little, little pockets in there and it just, it straightens and smooths out my hair and it's called Nanothermic and it has both ceramic and ion technology. Now that I give you an intro of the hair products that I use to smooth out my hair, let's do it. So I take sections of my hair at a time, comb it out, brush it out, put the um, barrel brush under my hair and I start blowing. And I start at the roots and I move all the way down. As you can see, my hair is now very smooth and straight, which is just doing the prep work to help me when I start styling my hair. So I have this other bunch here. I am going to break it up in two more sections and go through that. Okay, and I'm almost done. Grabbing the last section here, making sure to brush it through to get it nice and smooth. Put the barrel brush right behind the strands of hair. Okay, I'm back. I forgot one thing. You need a scrunchie and I just snatched one of my daughters and this I'm just going to separate the areas that have been worked on here so that I can concentrate on the next area. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and start separating this section by grabbing the hair at the top of my ears and going back towards the head. Bringing this part up. Okay, I'm gonna do the whole thing now. My hair is getting, or not my hair, my arms are getting tired, but I am not even done. But we are gonna power through this. section getting closer to the bangs so I'm really excited because it means I am almost done I grab as much of this as I can and then this like mohawk area a little bit more time in that because it includes the bangs so put in a little man bun up there clip it and let's work towards the hair closest to the face Alright, 
it is getting hot in here. So I am gonna crack open my patio door and be right back. We are getting closer. Let me brush out all my strands. It feels so soft. I love that feeling. Normally my hair is like a bird's nest. <laughs> Okay, let me give my arms a massage. We can do this. All right. So I'm going to separate my hair. I typically part my hair in the middle. If I can find it. Okay. I like parting my hair in the middle because I feel like it gives my face a symmetrical look that I really like, but you can part your hair any way that you like. I'm gonna go and work towards the back section. They're still, it's still pretty wet, so. Oh, and then this part here, let's contain it, put it in a clip. All right, so combed it, put it on the, <laughs> barrel brush and here we go. The hair closer to my face. I really like to blow dry it away from my face to give it volume. Okay, and for the bang part, I'm gonna brush it out once more. Excuse me. And grab the bangs, put it in the large barrel brush. See, like the little bristles there really grip the hair well and hold it in place. You can see why I only style my hair about once a week because it is an ordeal, but it's worth it. Okay, so my hair is smooth. It has a lot of volume, wouldn't you agree? Um, so for some women, they could be pleased, and I am. I'm pleased with this final result from blow drying my hair. But I am gonna take it a second, or a second step further, and I am gonna use, let me find my curling iron, my Hot Tools Professional, this is a two inch barrel curling iron, to really smooth out my hair, and then to add just a little bit more curl, and I find that when I do this, it my hair doesn't look frizzy, it looks polished, and I just feel just more confident and beautiful when I do this final step. It takes me probably, I don't know, another 15, 20 minutes? I don't know who's counting time. <laughs> but, um, and I have this at the highest setting, which is about 4.30, but I go through it pretty fast. And again, I only blow dry and curl my hair once a week, so it's not like I'm doing this every day or several times a week. Um, so let's get started. The curl, isn't it so pretty? So I'm gonna go ahead. The bottom part, usually I just need to do it in three sections. So easy peasy. hair is thick, textured, it needs a lot of heat to get it into the curl that I need. Okay, there you go. Do you guys see, like, if I, why this is like a favorite part of the hairstyling process because again, in the um, first phase of just blow drying my hair, it got it straight, it looked great. It just didn't look polished enough. And so when I go through my hair with the um, Hot Tools cooling, um, curling iron, 
it smooths it out and it gives it some style. All right, um, for this, I don't use a scrunchie because I don't want to smush the curls. I'm gonna use my alligator clip, clip it a place, and let's move through this whole head of hair. area. It's easy. Let's take the hair through the curling iron. And it's so smooth right now that it almost even slides out, but it's a good thing. I love having my hair smooth. Just curl each piece. Okay. Let's see. Let's move to my brain area now. I like to just make sure I grab the piece together and pull it towards the back of my head. And I like the two inch barrel because it's perfect for my length. I have long hair and I just like curls most of the time that are just really natural looking tight. Two inch will definitely give your hair that look. I'm okay, just gonna let, I'm not gonna bother it. The hair's still warm, I'm gonna let it cool in place. Let's work on the other side. Okay, and I just need to grab this little portion of side bang right here. Okay, we did it. This is how I style my hair. And position myself. Just love the way it looks. Looks really healthy, bouncy. The curls are really pretty soft and large. I don't, I mean, I, I comb through it a little bit, but with my fingers, but I don't really like combing or messing with my hair afterwards, but this is how my hair looks. All right, this is my everyday hair style tutorial. I hope that you enjoyed it. So what do you guys think? Yes, you better believe it is a lot of work. Thus, this is where I do it only once to twice a week, but the results are so beautiful. Like one of the, features I love about Elf is my hair. I mean, don't hate, I love my hair and I love styling it and it's so much fun and it's therapeutic and I love to transform it <laughs> from like a crazy frizzball mess to something so beautiful. Hello, Maria.